Hello, this is uh, part two of our Screencastify, our look at Screencastify. Um, this is, I've now finished the video. So that's the first part I showed uh, where I was creating that video. And that's the video I created. So you see the same windows that we, we had before. Uh, so now it's in the editing phase. So this will pop up automatically as soon as you're done with the video. Now I have the free version. That's only a five minute limit, but that first video was uh, two minutes and 49 seconds, plenty of time to, to get a lot of information out. And you see, I can trim the video down if need be down here with these scissors. Uh, you just hold them and drag and uh, you can trim the video down if you have to trim a little from the beginning or trim a little at the end. Um, sometimes I go over five minutes and I have to trim a little bit off the end so that it, it uh, gets to a good stopping point and it makes a little more sense. But what I really want to focus on is right over here next to the video. Oh, one other thing. Title your video. I've, I've titled this uh, Screencastify Part 1 for that first video. Um, otherwise, it'll be untitled video. You can change it later, but it's, it's nice to just kind of do it here. Um, I'll also point out the... Uh, the trash here. Uh, I probably keep one out of every three videos I make. Um, I'll look at them. I'll listen to them. I don't like something. So I'll, I'll dump it and just start over. It's very easy to do. What I want to show is this interface over here. So if you have a website, and you want to put a video right on the website, you can get an embed code and embed the video right on your website. Uh, I've done that with a uh, couple of things, I believe, on, on the district website. You can share to classroom, uh, and that's fine. But if you share it to a classroom, it does take a while to load up when you click on it in the classroom. So if, especially if it's a longer video, it's not the best way to do it. I like to publish it to YouTube. And when I publish it to YouTube, I'll show you what happens. I click on that. And it goes right to my YouTube channel. And then I can put a description. I can change the settings. Uh, I'll make it uh, only people who have the link can video can uh, watch the video. And I'll call it a Screencastify. Tutorial. Part one. And so now I'll upload that. And so that's going to upload to YouTube. Now, once it's in YouTube, I can do, oh, okay, okay. Of course, something went wrong. Um, and actually, what went wrong is it won't let me upload one while I'm creating another one. So, but the, the important thing is, is that you see how to do it. You publish it to YouTube. Then you go to your YouTube channel. And your YouTube channel is just opening YouTube. And going to the home page there while you're logged into your account. So please try, play with it. Um, it's very easy to use. The interface is very simple. Uh, you need a microphone. Um, I have an extra, a, a, a better microphone that I've that I've got to make videos. Uh, but the microphone on your laptop is fine. I'm using the camera on my laptop. Uh, go ahead. Don't be afraid of it. Try it. Put it on your classroom or in your classroom. Uh, your students will like it. Thanks a lot.